Hi, this is Jordan Fessler at Variant Studios in Old Town, Fort Collins, Colorado, and today I'm going to show you something cool. Hi, this is Jordan Fessler from Variant Studios, and today's tutorial is Chrome's awesome screenshot. I'm going to show you how to download this extension in Chrome that will help you capture the whole page or any portion of your page and annotate it with rectangles, circles, arrows, lines, and text, and it has a one-click upload to share. First, go to the Chrome Web Store at this URL located here and click Extensions. Scroll down to Popular and click All, and you can see that the extension is located right here. Or another easier way to do this is go into the search bar and type in awesome screenshot click enter and you'll see that the extension is here as well click this extension and you'll see that it prompts you to add this to your Chrome click this button click install and you'll see that the little icon appears up next to your address bar this makes it easy to use and find right click the icon up at the top and you can either click options disable uninstall or hide buttons click options and you can see that it gives you some shortcut settings. I'm just going to keep them how it is right now and click close. This manage extensions when you right click the icon shows you all the other extensions that you have downloaded in the past. Exit this and now let's record some screenshots. Click the icon and you'll see that you have three different ways to capture a page. This capture selected area can be used and you can crop and choose exactly where you want to record. You could also capture the entire page. So I'm going to go to this Apple website, capture the page, and you can see that I can still annotate and everything just like the other options. But what's very different about this awesome screenshot is that I can scroll. It's still a screenshot, but unlike all the other ones, you can view the whole page. For now, I'm just going to capture the visible part of the page. You can see a toolbar will show up at the top of this page, and this allows you to annotate with rectangles, circles, highlight things with your arrow, you can also underline with straight line, you can use this freeform line. And this blur tool is great if you want to blur out sensitive things that you don't want people to see. You could also add text. If you don't like any of this or something that you've done, you can click undo. You could also change the color of your annotation and do something like that instead. When you're done capturing annotating, click this done button right here. And you could either save it online temporarily, permanently on digo.com, but you'll need a Google account, and if not, sign in and create one. Or simply save locally or on your computer. I'm going to do that. Save. And I'm going to choose to save it to my desktop. And you're done. This is a simple way to capture a whole page or a portion and annotate with certain symbols like your rectangle, circles, arrows, and you could also use the blur tool to get rid of any sensitive information. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a great day. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope you got something useful out of it and please stay tuned for more videos to come. What are you still doing here? Why are you still here? The tutorial's over. You should probably go and try it out now. All right, well, I'm, I'm gonna go. <laughs>